This is a manual muscle test for scapulothoracic or scapular adduction. So we're patients in prone. We're gonna have you slide over to the edge of the table. Uh, it's important from a muscle activation of the middle trap standpoint to have the shoulder in an externally rotated position. There are a number of resources that talk about the importance of this position. So we're gonna have you come up and as you come up, you can see the scapula is adducting. So this is the passive range of scapular abduction into adduction. Now you can go through that range on your own. Perfect, met the criteria for a three. So we'll position the scapula in mid range. My force application is gonna be on the medial border of the scapula in the direction of abduction. So most of my force is through my right hand. I'm also using my right hand to monitor for when the scapula breaks. It can be hard to break some of these, uh, break the scapular position with just this one area of force application. So um, I do break or recommend breaking one of our foundational concepts of uh, not crossing distal joints to apply force, but by applying a force through the distal humerus, and it's not a downward force, my force is more along or through the long axis of the humerus to try to help pull the scapula into an abducted position. So her scapula is in the mid range. You're gonna hold it right there. And actually, before we do that, you're gonna hold on to the opposite side of the table, stabilize your trunk, hold it right there. Hold, hold, hold. So again, most of my force is, is with my right hand, but I'm using my left hand just to create a little bit of distraction through the humerus to pull the scapula into an abducted position. One of the precautions with this is you just need to make sure that your patient doesn't break at the glenohumeral joint and that they're actually breaking at the scapothoracic joint.